I was just about to page you. Mm -hmm. Here's her latest EKG. Thank you. She's all yours. Thanks, Frankie. OK, what happened? None of your business. I asked for a new heart specialist, so I'll just discuss it with him. Just because we're not together anymore doesn't mean you need another doctor. I want another doctor. I'm perfectly capable of seeing you as a patient, nothing else. Good for you. What do you want me to do, Kendall? You want me to punch some walls, get all pissed off like you? It's called showing human emotion. Not everyone is as capable as you are at shutting down their feelings. Oh, man, I never should have said anything about Zach. Well, but you did. You did. You, you dropped it on me out of nowhere. Why would you do that? Because you begged me to come clean. No more secrets. That's what you asked. And you had a right to know if Zach could be alive. It's not a secret, OK? It's a lie. It's, it's, a, it's a cruel, vicious lie that, that I didn't need to hear. I'm sorry. Just go back to your research with David. Kendall. I don't need you to be my doctor or anything else. Please. Just accept it and move on. You want me to go to Brazil? Well, you said you wanted to help your dad. Well, I can do that here. Yes, you, you could, but then you would still be near Hayward. That's what this is about. He's after you, Greenland. He's in a hospital bed, yeah. Ryan. He's probably doing everything he possibly can to get out of the hospital bed, and once he does that, he's going to be after you well, again. Well, bring it on. I'm ready. Really? Even after he brought Leo into this? He's playing a mind game. I told you, I know that. Whatever's going on here, you shouldn't be subjected to it, okay? We're a team, Scooby. I know, all right, I know. We're a team, Scraps, I know that. Okay, but you gotta trust me on this. Let me handle, just let me handle Hayward from now on. You go with your dad. Your dad's alone right now and he's hurting. It would probably mean the world to him to have his daughter by his side, and it would mean the world to me to know that you're safe. You're good, <laughs> Lavery. Yes. That means you'll, you'll go, right? Fine. But I might have to buy several very expensive, very small bikinis. You can take my credit card, because there's no limit. I've already invested a tremendous amount of my own time and money to reverse your blindness. Why would I back out now? For the reason everyone warned me about. You built up my hope for the sole purpose of destroying it. Look, as soon as I'm well enough, we will resume your treatment. You have my word. Something is going on with you. I don't know what it is, but something isn't right. Apart from Erica stabbing me in the ribs? No, that's not it. I can hear it in your voice. You, you, you're nervous, distracted, and this isn't the first time. What is it, David? What is going on in that scary mind of yours? You know, Angie, I really need to get my rest. You know what? I trusted you. I put my trust in you. Went against all the people who told me it was the worst mistake I could ever make. Because despite all the horrible things that you've done, I really believe in my heart that you want to help me. And I do. Well, then I want you to believe what I'm about to tell you. You're giving me the chance to get my sight back. And in return, I am offering you my support. Yes, you're hearing me correctly. If you're in some kind of trouble, I'm willing to help. And at this point, I am pretty much all you've got. I appreciate the offer, Angie. I really do. But I'm not in trouble. However, as I said, I will have to postpone your treatment. For how long? At this point, I really can't say. I'm sorry. I just show you something. I was on the internet all night, right? These are all cases that are just like yours, and almost every single one of them had a positive outcome. Let me just look, check this out. Uh, right. No. Honey, I'm not, I'm not just, like, trying to, you know, be, like, all pie in the sky about this. These are actual facts. And I believe you. It's just... It's just what? Whatever, however much time we have left, I don't want it to be all about no, cancer. Whoa, whoa. Hold on a second. How much time we have left? This cancer is not forever. This is just something that we're dealing with right now. 
Well, we're always dealing with something. I mean, ever since we met, it's been one crisis after another. Fighting David over Trevor, Kara coming to town, and now this. Well, look, I, I know it hasn't been easy with me, okay? But I just, we have something that other people don't have. We have real love, and real love will get us through anything. Why is this happening? I don't have the answer to that. But what I can tell you is it won't be long till this is all in the past, okay? And then we'll be back to our normal routine. We'll be having pizza nights and telenovelas and making crazy love, okay? And I want that more than anything, but... But, no, no, take the word but out of your vocabulary. No buts. Any challenge we have, we'll smash it. Any obstacle, we will fly over it. You just have to believe, okay? Just believe in us, please, all right? You really are my hero. I try, you know, I try. <laughs> one, one second. Uh, yes, Dr. Hamilton. Yes. Yeah, okay, yes. Amanda and I will be right up. Thank you so much. Okay. I am not going to walk out on you. Fine. I'll leave. You don't have to speak to me. You don't even have to look at me. But I'm not going to let you sacrifice your health. You care about my health so much. You're so concerned that you've been lying to me for months. Then, then you blindside me with this, this lie about Zach. I wish you'd just forget about it. You tell me that my husband could still be alive and you want me to forget about it? Are you kidding me? Not to mention the fact that you've been working for David all, all this whole time. I'm not working for David anymore. I'm, I'm helping Ryan. Oh, okay. You're switching sides now? Just like that? David lied to me, too. You know what? Save it. I don't care anymore. Hey, I've dedicated years of my life because I thought David was up to something good. Now, I don't know anymore. So I'm gonna find out what he's really up to and make sure no one ever gets hurt again. In the meantime, I'd prefer if you didn't drop dead from stress. I'd prefer if you stop talking and let me get out of here. If you don't do it for me, do it for your kids. Let me check your heart and then you can go. elevated, but no cause for concern. I'm sure it'll go down once I'm away from you. So the cancer's not that advanced? In the scheme of things, we caught it pretty early. Oh, thank God. That's, that's good, right? Well, I feel... What, there's something else? I'm sorry to have to tell you this, but I'll have to recommend a hysterectomy as your best treatment option. Uh, you're recommending that because you want to make sure that you get all of it and then she's completely free of the cancer. I can never give a guarantee, but yes, that's our best chance at a full recovery. Right, well, a full, a full recovery, honey, that's, you hear that? I heard the word hysterectomy. I won't be able to have any more children. So, Maya, you would really rather change diapers than, than go to college for free? You really want me gone? Uh, I'm offering you a terrific opportunity here. This isn't about you doing me a favor. It's about you not trusting me with Lucy. Uh, I never said that. Even if you have no faith in me, oh, your wife man. does, OK? And until she fires me, I'm not going anywhere. Except the park with Lucy, because that's where Angie wants me to go. Excuse me. Your excuse. Come on, Lucy. You got it. Thank you. See you, That's what Angie wants me to do. Oh, my God. Hey, 
Yeah, Brad, it's me. Uh, we need to talk about Maya. Oh, hi, sweetie. You startled me. Is everything okay with the hospital? David's postponing my treatment. Why? He claims it's because of his injuries. But I think he's leaving town. Leaving town? Going where? No idea. I knew it. I knew this low-life bastard was playing you. I knew it! Hey. Is Greenlee here? No, she's not. She's actually on her way to Brazil with her dad. I got a lead on Erica's lookalike. Probably be gone for a couple days. Good. I don't want Greenlee around for this. She'll probably try to talk me out of it. What are you talking about? I want you to back off, David. Can I get a nurse in here, please? I need some damn pain meds. All right, it's about time. What? I'm going out of town, but I wanted to see you first. All right, I'm intrigued. I want you to think about how much we loved your brother, how much he meant to both of us. I'm very well aware of that. You told me you saved someone else the same way you saved me. Someone I cared about, who we lost too soon. Did I really? Wow, must be the medication. I'm so hard to remember. Was it Leo? Damn it, David, I want the truth. You owe me that much. <laughs> 